What is going on guys? This is Benny here. So in today's video, we are going to be opening a bunch of chests. You can see we have the 10 win grand challenge right here. Sadly, was not able to get the 12 wins, but it is what it is. We'll be opening that up a little later in the video. We have a lot of gems, so we're actually going to open all of the chests from the shop here. We got the giant, the magical, and the super magical. Uh, and then we're also, the main the main goal is to see if we can get our new highest trophy uh, record. If you, I guess that's the best way to say it. Highest trophies would be 5,627. And right now, I'm at 5,619. And the battle deck, if you guys watched my last video, you guys saw it was this one. It, it's crazy. I actually drop down to like 5300 because if you don't start off with like the the lumberjack and either the goblin gang or like something i don't know it just depends on your opening hand if you have a crappy opening hand and can't recover from it it typically you it's hard to lose but then if you i don't know i went on a big winning streak and now i'm back up at 619 uh so we're gonna see if we can get that new trophy high i mean we already secure ourselves for a uh master three draft chest which is uh pretty nice but hopefully we can get to that champion league we'll we'll try Maybe we'll do a series if we can get there because we still have five days left in left in the season. But before we get started, guys, definitely leave a like if you guys are excited and uh, subscribe because we do a bunch of chest openings on the channel and everything. And the last few days we've been covering the heal spell when that channel or when that challenge finally comes out, um, we'll uh, we'll go hard. But yeah, let's open up these first free chests here. I, I don't expect to get much. I mean, ooh, we got four out of this one. That's typically a good sign. So we did get an epic card. Uh, typically, if you see a lot of cards in the first free chest, you're either going to get like an epic and a very slim chance to get that legendary. But hey, we'll take an epic for the gold. Uh, that's not bad. And then we'll open up our crown chest. And then after this, uh, we'll probably do the giant and the magical. And then later on, we'll do the the super magical and that uh, that 10 win chest. Another lightning spell. Have it max. But all right. So other than that, guys, how are you faring getting uh, your your like your trophies up? What's your trof trophy pushing battle deck? Uh, this is mine now. It's it was kind of discovered in the last video <laughs> uh, My opening hands. I don't know how I feel about it. So we got a, a miner that's level five I wasn't able to pump up because I kind of need to play deep defense here. and I, I didn't I actually would up losing my tower and I'm actually gonna go on a push here if he has fireball, which is very common It's gonna suck because he's gonna be able to fireball those minions, but we're going for a very aggressive push which We got decent tower damage he does have the fireballs, and now he knows that I have the minion horde, so that kind of sucks. But all I really have to be worried about now is this miner coming in on the elixir collector. So, actually, a hog rider, too. Well, actually, lumberjack, because that's going to be the best counter for us. And hopefully, the lumberjack actually goes to the left. Oh, dang it. He went right, so we're just going to leave him on his own. Not really going to counter push it. Um, if he gets some swings in there, nice. But. Basically, what we're just kind of trying to do, he really does not want my elixir collector there. We'll just eat the damage here. I could zap, but I don't know. We're just basically just waiting until double elixir and try and throw him off a little bit. I could throw down the golem, but I'm just going to wait till I don't know. We'll just wait it out. We know he has a hog rider. Okay, he does have that too. You know, we're going to go for it. Hog Rider's on rotation for him, so he's probably going to drop it some... Ooh. Mini Horde and Hog Rider. That's going to be kind of dirty. Alright, uh, Baby Dragon. Take care of a lot of his stuff, but... Now I don't have my Zap if he has Inferno Tower. Most players do run that Inferno Tower if they're running the Hog Rider, so expect to see that. If we don't, that's going to be awesome. Alright, Golem did get to the tower. And the minions, he's not going to do a whole lot to the minions, so this is great for us. We're going to take that tower very, very low. Not completely take it, but that's going to be very nice damage. And, oh, he's fireballing me. All right. So we'll throw it on the Lumberjack. Okay. The Enraged Tower. We're actually going to go for a zap right now. Just to get that cycle down. I'm fine that the fireball came out. With 15 seconds left, I think I just lost it, guys. The reason? Because I just I just freaking let the hog rider go. I made the big mistake. Oh my god. <laughs> We'll hit him with a good game. 
I, I knew as soon as I dropped my golem, I'm like, this is the wrong play. This is 100% the wrong play. So we did end up losing. Oh, God. Hopefully we don't get in a match. We did not. So tough first match. I think if I would have tried to defend that hog rider push, like, because I dropped the golem and I didn't have any elixir, we could have actually probably won that one, to be honest, which sucks. But we'll see if we can turn it around. Uh, we'll open up this giant chest. See if we can get a legendary. That's the reason why I'm... What is up with this lightning spell? <laughs> can we get a like for triple lightning spell in this, uh, already through this opening? Alright, I mean, just for the gold there, and then we'll go over to the one with the magicals. Get some gold. My gold is on the rise, which will be nice. We needed some legendaries. I haven't had a magical chest legendary in a, a very long time, and I've opened a bunch. That's a good sign. We need more epics. Ah, I don't think we got enough. Okay. So not quite, um, we'll actually do one more magical, just on this one, and then after this one we'll either do the super magical, and then after the next match we'll do our next one. We need epics, dude. Okay, I think we, did it finally happen, dude? Did our streak for the epic, I mean not the epic, the, uh, the magical chest, no legendary, did that streak finally end? It freaking did, let's go, dude. Is the Sparky. Uh, I got this guy in the shop a bunch, that's why he's up to 13, so slowly but surely getting him to max level. Either way, it is a legendary, cannot complain, finally broke the streak of magical chest, not giving us absolutely anything, so that's that's really, really nice. Uh, hop and do another match, hopefully, hopefully we can get him into a victory, dude, I swear this happens every time. It's like, you go on a huge win streak, where you win like almost every game. And then you just go on this big losing streak. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I know a lot of people, what they actually do is like, they say this to me a lot. They're like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll play until I lose one. And then like, if they'll, then they'll like put the game mode down for like an hour or two or whenever they want to play next. And then if they lose, like they won't actually, it's, it, well, on their first loss, they'll actually stop playing. I don't know, maybe it resets the algorithm for your battle deck. Who knows? Uh, we'll actually just zap this and uh, put the log. I mean, not the log. <laughs> I'm saying I don't have the log. That's what I was meant to say. Uh, we're probably going to see the arrows here. I'm guessing Lava Loon. A fireball. Okay. Um, there's his zap. I could punish him right now. I'm going to do it. All right. Nice. In that decent tower damage from those spears. Sadly, I don't have any crazy spells. Went in with the, th the thanks, bro. Um, I'm guessing Lava Loon. If not, it's gonna be kind of odd matchup without without that. Okay, it is. So we did pump up. Um, he has Fireball. I'm gonna try and save this minion horde, guys. Try and mask it like I don't have it. We know he has his minion horde too, but I don't think it's on rotation, so that's a good sign. The minions. Our minions. Um, just gonna zap everything. Okay, we're, we'll eat the damage here for now. Please, that balloon did not go off, get another one, so that's gonna be really nice for us. Um, come on, kill the freaking minion! That sucks. So we did end up losing the tower. Fireball's coming out. Um, once this, I'm gonna throw this down. So we'll do that double elixir. I need his tower. And if he doesn't really do anything either, um, to my goal, I can push for win. So, okay. Very interesting. I'm gonna push for win, guys. Fireball probably will come out, but that's fine. I'm surprised they haven't fireballed. Easy as that. That's how you win. <laughs> nice. Uh, Ian, good, 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 good match there. Oh, let's go. So, funny story. Uh, I actually did have another magical chest that was like free, a uh, free one that was on the open. Uh, like it was literally it was on the slot where this one just came in it was completely ready to open I was gonna save it to save up my my good chest here and then uh, I was playing a match and Carla actually like bumped me <laughs> and it opened it I didn't get a legendary out of it so this replaces that uh, 
so I would have two magical chests. <laughs> but blame it on Carla, guys. Hashtag blame it on Carla. She can probably hear me right now. She's in the other room. But uh, we'll open up the super magical chest. Keep in mind, dude, that 10 win. Oh, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, so the super magical. Great chance to get that legendary. That gold. Good start with epics. The fireball. The cannon. Oh, we had a lot of cannons there. Okay, good. We need more epics, though. All right, dude. Okay. So we do get a legendary. I'm, I really, really want... I don't even know what I want. Electro Wizard would be nice. The Graveyard. Okay. Uh, Graveyard's a very strong card. I was in challenge... Like, this challenge, guys, over here... Uh, literally... Freaking... Ev like, I swear, eight matches in a row, I went up against the Graveyard, and I won, I think... Like seven of those and lost one because I actually started this challenge with this battle deck well with a different battle deck and I was it was like one and one and then I, I switched over to this battle deck when I discovered it and went like then the rest of the way I went nine and two so it is it is kind of like sucky if I would have had that extra win maybe I could have got the 12 wins but we'll open up at this, I'll open that up after this match I'm stumbling my words to you guys but can we get some legendary hype <sighs> I don't know Going against Marlon. Then with the thumbs up. Good luck, bro. Opening hand. Don't have goal. Golem would be perfect. It seems like every time I go up against Expo or Mortar, guys. Literally every time. It's we don't get the golem in the opening starting hand. It's like, come on. We're gonna go in. This is our one time to shine. Ugh, ugh, ugh. At least we got the at least we were winning on damage so far, but now we have the Golem on rotation. And Expo isn't as fast of a cycle as Mortar, so that's good. That's kind of good for us, but if we run into that, um, that Inferno Tower... Oh, dang. I'm going to have to zap. I just want to know what he drops. Hopefully not Inferno Tower. Oh, my God. So... My my golem is gonna need uh, going to be needing it to be like on a faster rotation than what it's on. I'm all eat that ice spirit. He's just trying to cycle to his his expo again. I need this double elixir. Oh my god, he already has it, dude. My golem is nowhere in sight. This is the downside if you don't get the golem, like, on your opening hand against a Mortar and Expo. It's like, you can't cycle fast enough, because they can just out-cycle you. Freaking dirty Expo, man. I expect nothing less from someone from Korea, though, dude. Alright. Yeah, does I don't know, like, I wouldn't say I get scared. But it's just like, you know it's going to be a hard match when you go up against like someone with like Japanese or Chinese letters. <laughs> just saying. There goes the the zap on the mortar. It's going to be our big push. That's all we got. Everything's going into this push. Baby dragons, other minions. And it's not pan panning out, dude. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it really kills, like, if you do not have the golem. I don't know on that opening push. I know I said that, like, 500 times. I'm just getting my point across. <laughs> Man. I, I was just saying, I would love to replay this if I had that golem on the opening hand. I think we would have actually fared a lot better. Boom. So then we wouldn't be able to zap it easily. Do I want to give a Dirty Expo game a GG? We'll just hit him with the thumbs up. <laughs> so we did lose that 30 trophies. Ah, but now we'll open up this grand challenge chest here. <sighs> Show me the legendaries, man. Some gold. So that's a nice gold right there. The Musketeer. The Inferno Tower. The Mortar. Bomber. So many cards. Fire Spirits. Train Musketeer. Goblins. Cannon. Are you serious? We didn't get any epics. I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. If you don't get epics, you don't get legendaries. <laughs> so we get the another lightning. What is it with the freaking lightning? 
maybe maybe it's like a it's a sign from the the clash royale universe telling me yo ben you gotta get that lightning in your battle deck uh we'll actually do it probably if depending on if i, if I lose here oh what is this video at if i lose here we'll probably call it quits if i win we'll see if we can get that new trophy hive but every battle like there every person up here in 5600 pretty it's pretty solid it's it's intense tough matches gone barrel right up the start i actually did have the log in here guys too the last time you saw this but I took the log out and opted in for that zap. If I go up against Princess, my matchup is bad. Now that I don't have log in here, because I don't have a whole lot to take out Princess. And a rocket with the oh, oh he's he's gonna have Inferno Tower. He's got the he's gonna have the Hog Rider in here too. So double elixir is going to be it for me, guys. Like I am gonna have like limited pushes, but. I'm, gonna throw on, I'm just going to show the golem. I know he's going to have this Inferno Tower. It's pretty much... I should have just ate that, man. I literally should not have dropped that because I need the elixir. If he doesn't have Inferno Tower, I'll be appalled, but there it is. Um, so there's the zap. Probably throw it on the log. None of my goblins survive. Throwing some minions in the back. Oh, I'm eating a lot of damage on the towers. He's definitely get. How did that ice spirit go off? You thought it? The, my minions turned away because they thought they killed it. So he ended up getting some decent tower damage. I don't know if he actually has. Jeez, man. This goblin barrel is annoying, dude. We'll throw the lumber, the lumberjack. I wish I had him higher level, guys. If I had my lumberjack level five. He would be a lot more deadlier than what he is. I mean, yes, he got that big buff, but he needs to be a higher level if I want to really do some serious work. All right, finally survived to this double elixir period. I literally do not have anything to drop. There's the minion horde. Take care of that princess. So this is going to be my big opening push, my big last push here. I'm gonna not do anything on the with the goblins on the right hand side. Now I can throw my lumberjack in peace. Gonna get some good damage in there though. Okay. Put on the zap. Taking care of the inferno tower. That's nice. Got our rage in there. Throw another lumberjack. Just keep the constant rage. Enragement, we need to get a tower. There's our tower. Where's that goblin barrel? Let's freaking go, dude. I for sure thought we were losing that one. <laughs> he probably thought he was winning that one. Ep Eptic. I thought it was going to be epic, but nice. That was an epic win, dude. We're winning one and losing one. Enough. Epic out of the silver chest, okay. At least it wasn't the lightning, it was the baby dragon. Uh, yeah guys. If we win this next one, new trophy high. Ah, these are so intense matches. Can I get a like for that last win though? Come on, you have to admit, that was awesome. I, 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 dude, I 100% thought I was losing that one. <laughs> nice. Um, if we go up against Expo, Mortar seems to be on the bottom of the battle deck. 50 kings. We'll just wait. Okay, hog rider. Lumberjack, because a lot of people run that zap. And then we'll just follow it up with minions. Oh, nice. Or not nice. <laughs> he has a freaking Valkyrie and I drop a goblin gang right into it. Okay, tornado. That's gonna hurt a lot of my troops. The tornado is very, very deadly. Uh, I don't really see the Valkyrie that often. That kind of threw me off guard, but if I drop my elixir collector, I will have enough for that Valkyrie, or Valkyrie, <laughs> the lumberjack, for the hog rider. So, I mean, he's gonna get the damage. Oh my goodness. Wasn't expecting the lightning. So, 
Now I have a choice. Since he dropped a hefty amount of elixir and I have a pump, I'm gonna have a little bit of an advantage during the elixir. It's not double elixir just yet, so I can't do a nasty push. Valkyrie's gonna be dropped, he has a tornado. Oh no. That's my hard counter, guys. <laughs> Executioner is the hard, hard counter. Oh no. Um. Uh, yeah, let's see what I wanna do. Okay. You can see how much I'm just struggling right there. At least he doesn't. We're just gonna push. Not, not really working for us. Double elixir hit. I opted not to pump out. I know he doesn't have a hog rider. I probably should have pumped up, to be honest. I think that would have been the smarter play call. Furnace Tower in the pack. I really need to get to this Executioner. I just need to kill him. We're gonna get... He's gonna drop the... Dang, I that. Get that execution out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. No. Dude, the Executioner just destroys me. So I, I knew that coming into this, like, it's like you pick what you want to. Typically, honestly, you don't see the Executioner that often. So, he's our hard counter though. <laughs> if I go up against him, it's like, yo, it's extremely hard unless I get like kind of lucky with like a, a minor or not. What did I say? I'm, I keep messing up his name, the Lumberjack to the left with like the Minion Horde if I can sneak that in there. That's what I tried on there, and then if I get a tower, it's a little bit more manageable, but I don't know. Like you can say I'll oh, make the changes here, but you kind of there's so many decks now that are like very that are used a lot. So you kind of pick your matchups what you see the most. Typically I don't really see the executioner. I know he's the hard counter though. Uh you can see it there. I couldn't do anything really. But other than that, the battle deck is still fun. Uh we're hovering around that 5600, man. We're getting those victories, but can't seem to get past that. Uh, maybe maybe when it gets more further along in the season when because we still have five days left so a lot of people are still gonna be pushing up there as more people filter in the trophy will inflate hopefully uh but once we get all these chests completed we just need two more probably get a giant chest next and then hopefully cycle around to another magical probably be a little while though <laughs> we'll do a all chest opening once again but either way hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think of the battle deck uh i don't I'm really, I really wish this Lumberjack was higher level, because then it could eat a lot more damage, but he's legendary, so you never know. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like what you did, and if you subscribe for more Clash Royale videos, and I'll see you guys later.